Hey guys, it's Roy here from RWOCO12 and EpicDroid.com bringing to you today a video on the new mobile Z8. In today's video, we're going to cover how to root the new mobile Z8. Uh, new mobile is a US-based company that sells cheap devices, and by cheap, I'm not talking about the quality. The quality of the devices is great. However, the devices are affordable and great quality for what you're paying. Uh, for example, this device here, the new mobile Z8, it's listed at $300. It's a 32 gig device. They do have a 16 gig vari uh, variant as well. Uh, the device is unlocked and it is able to be used on any GSM carrier here in the United States as well internationally. Um, it is a awesome device. It is super sturdy. I've done an unboxing and a review video previously. Feel free to check those out. I'll have links in the description below. But what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to root this so that we can unlock some of the additional potential that's in the device that is not currently being used. So to root the new mobile Z8, we're going to use a program that I have used once or twice before. It's not one I'm a big fan of. It is written in Chinese, and so it's really hard to use. Um, I have gone through this before and have uh, used it several times, so hopefully we can cover this for you. But this is Kingroot. This is kingroot.net. They do have two different options. They have a download for Android and then a download for Windows. The download for Android, you can do that from your device, and it does root the device. Um, in many cases, it will root the device on the device without needing to plug it into a computer. Uh, in this one, we're gonna have to do the download for Windows. The download for Windows, it runs it on your computer and it runs through a variety of root situations and it looks for different exploits and different things that it can use to unlock the root access on your device. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded that. So it's in my downloads folder here. So here's Kingroot setup, I've already run that. And here we have Kingroot itself on my desktop. As you can see, again, it is all in Chinese, and I do have Google Translate here in front of me, so I can uh, translate that in a second. But here we have the new mobile Z8. And so this new mobile Z8 is on Android 5.1. It is currently on build number LMY47D test keys, or the custom build version is Z8 US 21. So I have root checker here on the phone so that we can check to see whether or not that is rooted. And so this app will not install root, yada, 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 and welcome. Here's how you do it. And then we hit the verify root button. And it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. Let's go back to our home screen. Now, in order to get the device ready to be used with King Root, you do need to do a couple of things here. The first thing that you need to do is you need to get into developer options. Now, I've un already unlocked developer options on this device, but what you would normally do if you don't have developer options here, you go into about phone and you go to the build number and you tap it seven times, so it says no need, you're already a developer. But you tap it seven times and eventually it says you're like one step away from being a developer, or two steps, one step, and then you, congratulations, you're a developer. So we're gonna go into developer options, and you do need to turn on USD debugging. Mine is already turned on, I was using it previously, but you wanna go in, turn on USD, USB debugging. Forgot to revoke those earlier so we can show you how the whole thing works. But, and then you're good to go. So that USB debugging is done, I'm going to, Plug in the Z8 to a USB cord. Going to plug that in here to the laptop. And set this up right here. So the first thing you'll see is it asks you on the phone. It says, uh, allow USB debugging, the computer's RSA key fingerprint is, and then I'm gonna do always and hit okay. And this here says something to the effect of find new root something program, try it. And then down here, this is the button that says root. So we're gonna hit the root button. Now, one thing to be aware of when you're using this program is that sometimes your device may restart in the middle of it. So it'll still say 15% on the computer and then all of a sudden it restarts on you on the device. Just be patient, let it reboot, turn the screen on. If it asks for USB debugging again, go ahead and hit approve. It doesn't always do it. I haven't figured out the rhyme or reason as to when or how it does it. But right this, it says something, if I'm, Google Translate is spazzing out here on the other side, but it says executing mobile phone root something. And it keeps changing between square offer and something else. So I'm not quite sure what it's telling us. Sometimes you'll see it here where the device restarts and King Root also uh, shuts off. And if that happens, we're just gonna turn King Root back on again and rerun the program, if it's not rooted. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so when it's rooted, you would see an app in here that says King Root, and um, that's the super user device or app that it uses. If we go into Root Checker, it'll still say that it's not rooted. So what we're going to do is come back here 
we're going to run King Root again. And it's going to check to see if the device is connected. Check to see if USB debugging is enabled. And we can tell it is here because it's got the little Android lollipop looking thing in the top. The USB debugging connected. So it's going to ask us if we want to root again. So we're going to say yes, we want to root. Now again, if it, your device does restart in the middle of this, if the program does shut down, don't be alarmed. Um, when I was doing this earlier, I've, I've done this three or four times now just to make sure everything works the same way. The first time I did it, it rebooted on me I think three or four times. The second time it rebooted once. Third time it didn't reboot at all, but the program closed two or three times. So I'm, I'm not quite sure why there's that inconsistency, but it does seem to be at least one to two reboots. And one of them always seems to hit between 20 and 25%. So just be patient, and like I said, if it closes or restarts, just queue it up again and go from there. So the phone just restarted again. So it's still going here. And so it just gave us another root fail. So what I found is that sometimes you have to just reboot the device. And just reboot it the old-fashioned way, rather than having the program redo it. And while the device is rebooting, we're going to close this and come back here again. And so now it tells us it's connecting to the phone. That's checking root. It's not rooted. Let's hit root. So we're trying it again. So I do have to say, this is the longest that it's ever taken for me so far. But the good news is, is if it gets that King Root app on there, it generally means that it will be rooted. So we'll let it go ahead and finish running through this process. And there we go, Root is successful. So let's pull this out. And so the first thing that King Root does, and I'm gonna put a big disclaimer out here, I'm not a fan of the way that they root devices because of the fact that when they root, they install a ton of junk on your phone. So it's almost as bad as some of the manufacturers, uh, the bloat that they put on there, which by the way, New Mobile does not do. They, you will not find bloat on their devices. But it is now rooted, and as long as it's rooted, there are also several other things on here. I do recommend after rooting with King Root or Kingo Root that you run CCleaner on your device and get rid of any cached files for those. First off, I want to say thank you to New Mobile for providing us with this device and this opportunity to be testing this. I um, want to say thank you to the community and to King Root for providing us this root method. And also just want to say thank you to you guys as an audience for giving me this opportunity to share with you my uh, passion and love for Android. If this video has been helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends on Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook, wherever. Uh, please follow us on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.